Yeah, slingshot. <laughs> Hi guys, guess what we're doing? Five minute booty workout at home, no weights. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it, you can do it. Don't give up. The friends, my genetics on my mom's side, flat bum, big hips. On my dad's side, chubby. So I took my booty from flat and flabby to this, to that thing, <laughs> by doing these moves once a week. I started with no resistance band and then I added one in. Resistance bands go anywhere from light to heavy. Like I said, I started with nothing and then I went to light and then all the way up to heavy. So the one I'm using is a heavy. You will get benefits no matter what you do. You don't need the bands. It does add a challenge. So if you do these and you find them getting easier, then you can start adding a band in and then adding the resistance um, in the band. We're doing five moves, one to two sets per move. Each move takes about 30 seconds. So it's gonna be a total of five minutes, give or take, for this workout. Let's get working. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna use the bands. You don't need to. We're gonna start with sumo squats. Put the band, if you're using one, right above your knees. We're gonna do two sets of 12 reps. What you wanna focus on when you're doing this is don't let your knees cave in. I find if you keep your knees pointing out more, like going against the band if you're using a band, it really helps put the focus where you want it. I feel it all over with a sumo squat. I feel it in my bum, I feel it on my inner thighs, and my hamstrings. That's where you, you kind of get an all over tone with this one. I like to put my hands up here. I have my knees slightly wider than hip width apart and my toes slightly pointed out. Then I'm gonna just sit. Everything is slow and controlled. When you're going down, using your glutes to squeeze and you're squeezing at the top. Three, four, don't let your knees cave in. Five, when you go down and you're not letting your knees cave in, you should feel it right here in the glutes. And up. Don't forget to have your dog eating grass. <laughs> you don't go as low as is comfortable for you. And if you're feeling it in your knees or anything, adjust until you feel comfortable. I do have knee damage from when I was overweight, so I have to adjust as well. Sumo squats is the first exercise. And guys, we'll leave the entire workout in the description down below. <laughs> in between workouts, you do your, uh, you rub your dog's belly for a rest. <laughs> it's, it's a required part of the workout. Just make yourself comfy, buddy. Okay, good. We're not filming or anything. <laughs> the second exercise are abductors. We're gonna do two sets of 25. The first set, I'm gonna be leaning forward, and the second set, I'm gonna be leaning back a little. It'll target the side glutes, but it'll target them in two different ways. So again, if you're having a band, you put it right above your knees, sit on the edge of a chair, feet about hip width, apart. I like again to hold my hands up here so that I'm only focusing on my glutes for the workout. You're gonna lean forward and using the glutes, the side glutes, to pull your legs apart and squeeze. And 25, so two, three. You should feel the burn right here. Be pulling and squeezing right here. That's where I always feel it. Then, when you're done that set, you're gonna lean back and do another 25. So you're gonna sit again on the edge of your chair. You're gonna lean back. You can use the handles for support if you need to. 
You're gonna keep your feet the same distance apart. And again, you're pulling and squeezing with the side glute. You may feel this a little bit in your thighs depending on the resistance of your band, and that's okay. And these should be burning. Yeah, you should barely be able to get 25 per like front and back. And Nicole's been showing me these moves over the last probably six months, and trust me guys, building your legs and, and uh, glutes up is not all about squats. Yes, they're important, but there's so many much more isolating and better moves. My, my bum, I didn't even do the full 25 and my bum is burning. <laughs> Exercise number three, we're gonna do something called reverse frog pumps. I'm using a mat, you don't need one. We're gonna get down on our belly and put our feet together and use our glutes to raise our legs in the air. And we're gonna do two sets of 12. So I like to put my, rest my hands right above my chest here put my feet together, spread my knees about slightly wider than hip width, and then we're using the glutes, should be right about here, to pull the legs up, squeeze, you should feel the squeeze right about here, and down. Do two sets of 12. And you wanna to try to keep your hips on the floor. Yes, you wanna keep your hips glued to the floor, only glutes used to raise your legs slightly up off the ground. You should really feel a good burn right here. <laughs> that one's good for targeting like the upper bum, the upper glutes. <laughs> Let's go to number four. Okay, we're doing kickbacks as the fourth exercise. We're gonna do one set, 15 reps per leg. So do 15 reps on one leg, and then do 15 reps on the other. I'm gonna use a chair. I, I like to use a sturdy chair. I am using a band for this one. You don't need to use a band. You can just go freestyle. I like to go where my chest is almost parallel to the ground. Holding on to the back of the chair, to keep myself steady. I'm gonna bring my knee in and use my glutes to squeeze, pull and squeeze the leg. And if you don't have the band, you probably will be able to lift your leg higher, but the band again adds a little bit more resistance if you're more advanced. Then I'm gonna switch legs when I'm done and do the, and do the same to the other side. And I'm feeling that I feel it all in this area here. So yeah, just work with the angle and, and some hands. yeah, work with your angle as you kick back so that you feel it in your glutes. And sometimes you get I get a better burn and squeeze without a band. And note the pace too. You want to be going at this pace, not really too slow and not too fast. I like to do everything slow and controlled because I found building the booty. It's not about going like super fast and super heavy. It's about really feeling and squeezing the glutes. That's how I built my, my booty, is really feeling every move, burn and squeeze. More like a pump action, you know, with a squeeze, yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna move on to number five, the last one. Okay, number five, we're gonna do glute bridges. We're gonna do two sets of 12. I'm gonna lie down on the ground. I'm using a band for this one, right above my knees. When you do each rep, you're gonna do a three second squeeze at the top. The goal is to push against the band, or if you don't have a band, to push your knees out and not let them cave in when you're squeezing your bum at the top. So you're gonna lay down, Hands by your side, feet about hip width apart, knees about hip width apart, and you're gonna raise up, squeeze your glutes, and make sure that your knees are out. Don't let them cave in. Three second squeeze, and I always feel the burn right here. And lower and up. 
You don't need to let your bum touch the mat or the ground because you don't want to take the tension off. So I'm trying to keep my knees out and I'm using my glutes to squeeze, pull up and squeeze. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So the friends, you'll be able to do this workout as often as you like because it is fairly low impact. And at the end of the workout, if you did it right, you should be feeling your glutes burning and you should have a pump, which means you've got maximum blood flow to the bum. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at the Colettes. Yeah. Don't know what you're doing with your life if you didn't do it yet. And <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or what? Uh oh. <gasps> Sling was resistance band slingshot of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye guys. Let's out.